Hi, my name is Tiffany and I'm a dietitian and a lactation counselor with the Hamilton County Wood Program. Today I'm going to go over how to store your breast milk. If you have a healthy full-term infant, then you can use these guidelines to store your pumped milk. It's pretty easy to remember. Um, one of the ways that I like to say is to follow the rule of four. So if you've pumped your milk and you've placed it in a bottle, put that bottle on the table, you can leave it in the room for up to four hours, as long as that room is 77 degrees or colder. If you've pumped your milk, put it in the bottle and it's sealed very tight, and you put it in the refrigerator, then you can leave that in the refrigerator for up to four days, as long as the refrigerator is 40 degrees or colder. If you've pumped your milk and you've put it in the freezer, you can actually leave it in there for up to six months. After you pump your milk, we strongly suggest labeling your milk with the time that you pumped it and the day that you pumped it on, so you can use the oldest milk first. And you can also know how long it's been in the refrigerator or freezer. You will notice that when your breast milk starts cooling, that it separates, the fat comes to the top, and then the clear liquidy part goes to the bottom. That's completely normal. What you wanna remember is when you're reheating it or when you're thawing that out, you're just going to swirl the bottle and that's going to combine the fat and the liquid part as well. Please never microwave your breast milk. It actually damages the milk and it can cause hot spots which could burn your baby. Instead, when you're thawing your milk, what we suggest doing is taking it out of the freezer and putting it in the refrigerator the night before it has to be used. If you've thawed your milk from the freezer in the refrigerator, you have to use it within 24 hours. If you've thawed your milk on the counter, you have to use it within one to two hours. So that's why we suggest doing it in the refrigerator. You have a little bit longer time to use it. If it's an emergency, what I suggest doing is running this bottle under hot water and kind of swirling it just like this. That will cool it or heat, rewarm it quickly um, and it'll thaw out. If you've stored your frozen milk in a little baggie, such as this, sometimes they do leak. So instead of putting it on the counter or running it under hot water just like this, I do suggest either putting it in a cup or if you're gonna run it under hot water, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and then run that Ziploc bag under hot water. So if it does spring a leak, you're gonna save all of that hard-earned breast milk. They also make these little ice trays, which can be very, very nice when you first start using bottles. You may not know how much your baby needs, and so instead of thawing out three ounces, each one of these ice cubes is one ounce. So you could thaw out one, and if you need another one, you could thaw another one. Um, so these are pretty handy when you first start using bottles as a freezing technique. So there you have it. Pretty easy, right? If you have any questions, then go ahead and contact your local WIC office or your lactation counselor. Our WIC office number is 513-821-7012. Thank you so much. Have a good day.